over here! And when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, that they may be seen by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to episode four of Let's Play Blasphemous. In the last episode, we took down a couple of bosses, one at the uh, Fiery Flaming Tower and another one um, at the bottom of a uh, crypt, I want to say. Um, again, like, it's hard to remember all the details of this game, but uh, we managed to defeat two bosses, which is great. I'm actually going to come back here and see if I can donate any more... Uh, how much do we want to donate? I have 2,000 and 300. Let's go for broke. I'm going to go with 2,300. See what happens here. Nothing yet. So, let us keep going from here. By the way, um, I just realized in the last episode, I never actually tested out what this prayer does. So, let's see. Verdiales of the Forsaken Hamlet. I'm going to try this real quick. Um. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So it so it's an install. Got you. What the heck? Was this always here? Linen cloth. Linen cloth, a useless rag that seems to slightly vibrate at times, emitting an unintelligible buzz. The affliction sometimes leaves its mark on mundane objects, on mundane looking objects, unable to reveal the miracle under its mantle of corruption. Fevrile as he was, he hardly noticed that someone had sat down next to him. A gentle hand patted a white cloth on his forehead. It was a fabric of the utmost softness, which allowed light through it as if it were a sheet of paper, and was soaking in feverish and was soaking his feverish sweats and providing such relief that he could not help but fall asleep. When the cloth was soaked, the nun got up and handed it to the mother superior, adding, With this, we will be able to have his confession. Interesting. That, that actually kind of reminds me of this one um, passage in the Bible. I forget which one it was exactly, but it was the idea of um, faith without works is like a pile of useless rags. Um, I was actually going to go over that another time, but since it kind of came up here, um, yeah, that's uh, something that, again, I think a lot of people could like stand to acknowledge more. Um... I'm mainly doing that for the tears. Um, what I want to do is actually want to explore down this way. So let's see if I can go down there. But uh, yeah, the whole idea of the pile of useless rags is that, like, the idea of the idea of that passage in particular is that faith without works is meaningless. So unless you like, you can have all the faith you want. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, I did have since learned how to do that. Um, you can actually, um, you know, execute people. So, I, I learned that in the last episode, and now I understand how it works, so there you go. Um, so I can't go down there. Can I explore over here, maybe? Possibly. So let's check that, let's check that out. Right now, I'm currently, um, looking for the third, um, I guess, like, uh, thing that I need, uh, to, uh, continue the game. So that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Okay, there we go. But yeah, um, yeah, the idea of that passage that I was talking about, might as well, like, talk about it now, right, is the idea that you can have all the faith you want. You can predicate your faith to God all you want, but unless you have, but unless you, but unless you provide the works behind it, you actually, like, do something with that faith, it's nothing more than a pile of useless rags. It is, like... You did all the work with these rags, you cleaned things up, but then what do you got after that? It's just a pile of useless crap. Um, that's the general idea of uh, that passage, and that's what that linen cloth kind of reminded me of. Um, can I go down? Oh, I can! I missed this!
Okay, cool. I actually missed this part, so... Um... Hmm. Oh, there's something over there, but it doesn't look like I can get it yet because I don't have, like, a double jump or something, I guess. So I guess we're... We only... We don't really have any choice but to keep going. But, uh, yeah, that's not actually the verse that I wanted to talk about today. The one I wanted to talk about... I can't, uh... Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm getting better at this game, I'd like to think. Beautiful. Um, but, um... Yeah, the one I actually wanted to talk about today, um, I, first of all, I just want to say thank you guys for, um, the comments that you left in the first episode. It's really, really nice to see that you guys are enjoying this series, and I'm really, really, um, impressed with how many people, uh, came about to talk about their faith and their, um, religions and how they've, how they experienced that. Like, I'm actually really pleased to see that... Uh, you guys uh, were actually like willing to engage in that conversation. So let me just say first of all I'm really really happy with that like that that actually like means a lot To know that you guys are willing to talk about that kind of thing You know because I know it's not exactly a subject that a lot of people like necessarily like talking about But I also feel like it is important and leads to a lot of really really good discussion. You know what I mean? So that that's how I feel about it anyway um as for um uh, as for what people have ta uh, have been asking, I've been, like, getting, like, some really good suggestions. Oh, hello. Did I get this before? No, I didn't! Small bead of red wa- Oh, the red wax! Tiny pebble of melted wax uh, of a muted crimson. Prayers muttered in its presence slightly strengthened the vitality of the wearer. The abbey ceased to be a quiet place. Cries of pain coming from every cell pierced the walls. The old friar knew he would be next, so he got up from his cot where he had been huddled and glanced at a few time at the few items that lay on the table. Most of the mementos, most of the mementos from his life before joining the order. He wanted to be kissed by the miracle while immersed in those gentle thoughts. Triggering most memories were some small balls of wax, now covered in dust, that he used to enlarge by picking up wax from the candles during processions. Isn't that the same? Yeah, that's the same lore of the of the blue wax bead. So I'm curious as to, like, if there is more of that. So... I do see a couple places here that, like, might have potential for, um... Uh, for exploration, so... Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm surprised I dodged that, honestly. Okay, there we go. Um... Let's actually go this way. It looks like there might be a room here I can explore. Um... No, it is locked. But, uh, eh, I don't really have a lot of tears, so I don't think I can get much from the merch from the merchant right now. Um, but, um, so yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys for really getting invested in this, uh, series. That, like, it was really, really cool to see that you guys, uh, actually, um, took an interest in these topics. I probably should have taken the fast travel for this, but, eh, it's no big deal. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ow, Jesus Christ. Okay, I need, I need to focus here. There we go. Actually, can I avoid the... No, I cannot avoid them with uh, the... Uh, with the... With the slide, so that's good to know. There we go. In tamen in patre, spiritu sancti. Awesome. Um, but yeah, going going back to the verse that uh, I uh, presented in today's episode, uh, specifically the one about um, uh, about public prayer and of um, ah, frick, this is a lot. There we go. Dominum Patre Spiritu Sancti. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, honestly. Ah, oh, Jesus. Damn it. Alright, yeah, that's a, that's a lot to, like, go over here. But yeah, the subject of today's episode. 
Um, specifically what I was talking about. The idea of public prayer. Um, if I recall correctly, I didn't even remember. It was from Matthew. I think it was from Matthew 6, 5 to 6. It was talking about, um, it was talking about the idea of, like, if you're going to pray, don't pray publicly. But, like, don't get, don't misunderstand. Like, public prayer is fine within the proper context. Because the idea of it, um, in, uh, Matthew, uh, in uh, that uh, verse of Matthew specifically, is the fact that those who wish to pray publicly, um, usually their intent is to boast about their faith. Because they say, oh, hey, look at me, everybody. I'm praying to God, and thus I am better than you. Um, and uh, the Bible makes it clear that that's like, yeah, no, don't do that. Like, go ahead and, uh, like, you can pray in the synagogues and, like, you know, declare your faith all you want, but, uh, it's hypocritical. Like, that- that kind of prayer, um, is the kind of prayer that, like, God's not really gonna listen to, because it's like, oh, you're not really praying to me. You're praying to show off. You're praying to- so that people can- so that you can make people feel like they're beneath you. Um, again, the idea of public prayer nowadays is not, like, necessarily as bad as, like, that anymore. Particularly because, again, it depends on the context. Um, how do you- Oh, nuts! Yo! That's awesome! Okay, there we go. Okay, I can't stun you. Good to know. I have to counter you. Cool. Get rid of you first. Oh, I get it now. So the counter will go off. The counter will go off no matter what. But if I press the attack button as soon as as soon as the sword hits the enemy, that's where you get the stun state. Good to know. I love that you can do that. Um, so yeah, um, it was actually kind of interesting, because, um, again, like, public prayer, like, it really depends on the intent. Like, it's not necessarily totally bad. There's this one thing that, um, my high school did a while ago, and I don't know if, an, uh, I don't know if this might mean anything to you guys. Let me know in the comments if this means anything to you. But there's this one thing that my high school did called See You at the Pole, where, um, on, on a certain day... Uh, students would come to the flagpole outside of the school ground, like, like, right on school grounds, to meet up with others to basically pray. Um, you know, pray to God and everything. And, like, when I was in high school, I thought that was actually pretty cool. Particularly because, you know, it was a nice way to, like, uh, to know who among your peers you could talk to about this kind of thing. To know who also shared in your faith, right? Um, and it was kind of like a nice little community type thing, which I didn't mind at all. And looking back at it now, I don't really mind it now either, because, like, you know. Um. Yeah, Desecrated Cistern. Yeah, that's right. This is the place I didn't get a chance to, uh, check out yet. Oh, I love this. I love this music. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, we have a new area here. Um, but yeah, see you at the pole, like, all in all, was, like, uh, was a nice thing to go to, especially for someone like me who, like, j just, get, like, b believe it or not, guys, like, this might actually come as a surprise for you guys. Um, back in high school, I was a bit of an asshole. Um, I kind of, like, had that typical holier-than-thou mentality, which, like, looking back, I'm kind of, like, ashamed of. Um, real quick, what do we got here? Uh... Scaphoid of Fierce the Leper. Rejected by his family, his village, and even by other lepers, Fierce only found solace in the echo that his voice returned to him when he took refuge in the tunnels of the desecrated cistern. Interesting. Alright, cool. But, uh, yeah, believe it or not, I was actually a pretty holier-than-thou type of person, um, back in high school, and even, and, like, even into college, I'll admit, um, which was also pretty hypocritical of me, because, um, I was no better than anyone else. Oh, hey, looks like we're getting another, uh, sword upgrade, I think. 
Or no, health upgrade, I think. Yes. Oh, I like that. I will always take health upgrades, please. But, uh... Yeah, like, see you at the poll, um, and, like, praying with other students was, uh, like, was a nice thing. Like, I'm, I'm thinking of it back in the day, and it's like, yeah, it was nice, you know? Oh, we got, like, just straight up zombies now? Whoa! Okay, they explode. Good to know. So, don't stay near them when they die. Aha! Okay, I don't want to stay in these waters too much. But yeah, um, and the thing is, like, I I've kind of, like, grown up since then. I'll, I'll admit, like, uh, going to Philadelphia and, like, going to uh, Temple University was definitely... Oh, what is this? Okay, so those guys die in one hit. Good. Um, going to Philadelphia was, like, a good, like, wake-up call for me in regards to, like, growing up and, like, realizing just how much of a hypocrite I was. Um... Not to get, like, personal or anything, but there's this one instance where, um, I was actually so knee-deep in my own, um, in my own, like, bullshit that, um, some really, really good friends of mine, um, actually, like, had to stage an intervention with me. Like, college wasn't the greatest time for me. Like, I mean, it, w it was, but it also wasn't. L let's just say that going to college, I had to do a crap ton of growing up, and I had, like, I was fortunate enough to have friends who were willing to help me grow up, and I cannot thank them enough for what they did, uh, for me back in, uh, uh, back in, uh, back in college, because, good lord, did I, did I need to get off my high horse? Um, that might seem like a surprise to, like, a lot of you, but you'd be surprised, um, how many people, um, okay, that was close. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, those guys are just going to keep on reviving, huh? Cool. Um But yeah, I was not the I was not the beautiful. Okay, I'm starting to understand how this works now. And we can do this. Oh, nice! Cool. And that could takes us back to Mercy Dreams. Beautiful. Um, so, continuing with what I was saying. Like, I'm kind of just rambling at this point, so, like, forgive me if this is, like, seems like a bit of a rambly episode, but I'm also, tr like, trying to provide, like, plenty of, like, interesting commentary while also playing this difficult game. So, forgive me if I'm, like, repeating myself or rambling or at all, guys. So, uh, thank you for your patience on that. Um, as for, like, continuing my story, sorry, I'm just, like, looking at where I can go here. Looks like I gotta keep going up. I'm just gonna explore, um, whatever rooms I can. These, uh, poison rooms are going to be a pain, but, okay, I'm just gonna jump over you. Get over here. Okay, so I don't want to fall lest I run into poison. Can I just kill you? Yes, I can. Beautiful. Oh, jeez. Is this gonna... Yep. Awesome. Um, let's go down first. Oh, is there something down here? Yes, there is. Awesome. Oh, man, I can't get up there because of the freaking... Because of the freaking water. But at least I can... I, okay, make a mental note of that. What do we have here? Refill, empty... Bilieri Vessel in exchange for five... Oh, okay. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. Restore health and, uh, yes. Beautiful. Okay, that's good to know that I can, like, do that. 
Um, Alright, so... Um, so yeah, going, like, uh, going back to what I was saying, um, I had to do a lot of growing up in college, and honestly, like, um, all that growing up in college has actually, in a way, strengthened my faith, because, like, you know, um, one of the things that, like, the Bible, um, and, like, you know, Christianity in general, at least I would like to think it does, uh, generally says that, like, you need to recognize that, hey, you're no better than anyone else, than everyone else. You are no better than, um, you know, whatever other schmuck decides to, like, come into your life. Because, um, it, it's the idea of, like, all sins are equal in the eyes of God. Um, which, like, is true. Because, you know, the idea of it is, like, God is a perfect being and has, and does not know sin and cannot look upon sin. Um, okay, be careful here. Alright, this should lead to somewhere, it seems, so let's explore. Um, but yeah, um, I've kind of, like, come to realize that, like, if I'm going to, like, be a good Samaritan, quote-unquote, and, like, oh, Jesus. If I'm going to be a good Samaritan to others and, like, you know, not, uh, be a jerk to them about, like, the whole thing with, uh, you know, God and religion and whatnot, I have to recognize that, you know what, I'm no better than anyone else. Um, but anyway, what do we got here? I'll put you out of your misery, man. What are you guys? Okay, so these guys are just, like, zoners. Oh, jeez. Yeah, put these guys out of their misery. This is disturbing. Okay, good. Um, I may have to go back to the uh, cistern. But, um, I want to explore more here. You can... Yes, I can do that. And hey, I'm always I'm always down to explore if it means I can find another pre do. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay, that was a bit of a rush. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Alright, whew, gotta focus a little bit here. Okay, that's just not fair. Vaya con Dios. Okay, these guys can be taken down in one hit, which is nice. Okay, Simon Belmont ass motherfucker there. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch my prayer real quick. As cool as like uh and as an install prayer is, I think I'd rather have the uh, Verdiales of the Forsaken Hamlet. Ugh. Okay, this place is disturbing as fuck. Oh boy. Oh, good lord. 
Okay, maybe I am going to need the, uh... Oh, I can still hear her attacks going. Or his attacks, whatever that was. But, let's see if I can... Ow. Okay, let's not die already, shall we? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go back to the Prey Dew. Recover. And see if we can. Oh, you know what? Okay, you get out of here! Alright, I am very curious as to what that uh, enemy is. So yeah, um, going back to my original point, by the way, the idea of public prayer. Again, public prayer in and of itself is not a bad thing. So long as, like, the intent behind it is, like, you know, um, is, uh, virtuous. Or is, like, you know, well-meaning. Because that, that's the main thing about it, is, like, whether you do something or not in regards to, like, what can be considered sinful, um, really comes down to intent. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, I gotta figure out, I gotta figure out that guy's pattern. And, um, the whole thing with, like, you know... Uh, the Bible, like, being anti-public prayer is mainly due to the idea of, like, so many pe people praying in public to try and one-up others, you know what I mean? Um, but if you truly want to pray, uh, pray with the intent of seeking a personal relationship with God. That's the main thing. Um, and that's why he encourages to pray silently in your room, privately, because that that's the other thing. Whatever goes on between you and God is no one else's business. So that's the main thing. Anyway. You have no available offerings. What? Was this? Aw, oh, really? I missed out on something here? So do I have to, like, present an offering of some kind? Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. Hello. Oh, you're a person. Descalzo de la orden de los genuflectores. No toméis como ofensa el no miraros al rostro, pues siempre estamos inclinados para no desviar nuestros ojos del camino. Es esa nuestra antigua regla. Nos encontramos ante Hondo, la gran campana enterrada erigida al revés para que su tañido hiciera vibrar la propia tierra y se extendiera hasta territorios lejanos. Ahora en lo que Hondo resuena es un profundo quejido trino que viaja en ecos por sus largos círculos en espiral. Mis pies desean cruzar al otro lado de este antiguo valle para continuar al siguiente destino. Oh, pecados míos, ¿quién me podría socorrer? All right. I'll see if I can maybe get the bridge going. I definitely gotta go back to, um, the Desecrated Cistern, because I may have to, like, uh, go explore more of that. Whoa! Ow! Okay. Okay, good, I can parry those. Crap. Alright, what do we have here? Scapula of Carlos the Executioner. His hatred for the people was as great as his love for animals. When he was ordered to execute a dog that had bitten a bishop, Carlos refused for the first and last time. Oof. Okay, so. Try not to go near those ringers. 
lest I take some heavy damage. Ugh. I'm going to assume now that like I took out the, that guy, those guys aren't those things aren't going to ring anymore. Yep, seems like that's the case. Oh, am I going to be able to do the thing, like, where I can, like, bounce off of those guys somewhere in this level? I'm guessing that might be the case. Vaya con Dios. Alright, this place is already interesting. Again, I gotta go back to the cistern and see if I can, like... Oh, I can, I can block that using a projectile? Does that mean I can deflect it using a regular attack, too? That would be nice. Hmm. It doesn't look like I can go up there by any other means, so I'm gonna have to, like, make a note of this. Oh, you know what? Those vines. I'm definitely gonna be able to use that for something later. Oh, dear. One, two, three. Oh, boy. Okay, vaya con Dios. I really hope, like, somewhere down the line I can get more of those, um... More of those flasks in my inventory or something like that, because that would be nice. Produce nice! Awesome. Okay, so moving on. But yeah, like it's like you guys down in the comments actually. Like, does anyone actually remember see you at the poll? Because like again, that was a thing that my high school did. I imagine like other high schools might have done it. Okay, be careful not to fall into those spikes there, otherwise I'm a dead man. Hmm. Okay, wall. Beautiful. Ah, okay, okay, I see you, game. Okay, gotta be careful here. Excellent. And then I can activate this so I can go back. Wonderful. Wrong button. Yeah, someone in the comments also explained to me what that whole thing with the offering was. Oh, I can already tell this is going to lead to something. Oh? No. Okay. Can I go down here? Yes, I can. Um, I don't want a chance going down there. I don't know if I can, anyway. Oh, jeez. Okay, that was a bit scary. Awesome. Okay, yeah, I gotta take out those bell guys as soon as possible. Um... Yep. 
yeah, I don't mind just taking my time with those guys. Okay, this is scary. I'm liking this stage so far, though. Beautiful. Yeah, you gotta be precise with your movement here. Come on. I mean, if you're gonna turn around like that like an idiot, I'm no skin off my back. Come on. And you're dead. So, what do we have here? The vertebra of Linquist the Forger. I'm I'm noticing that this whole thing is like a lot of body parts. Wherever a bell rings in custodia, its sound owes the existence to Linquist. This forger never saw his bizarre magnum opus called Hondo completed. All right. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is going to be a thing, isn't it? Oh, wow. Get out of here. Okay, I took a, quite a bit of damage there. Bouquet of Rosemary? That's not a body part. Uh, oh, I get it. Okay. Bunch of aromatic herbs common not long ago in the Forest of the Holy Trail. Today, however, their scarcity makes them increasingly valuable, especially for those who discern their healing abilities. That's, uh... Oh, yeah, it's the same as the Bouquet of Time. Vaya con Dios. Alright. It seems I may need to do something additional to get through here. Um, let's look at the map. Yeah, I think I gotta go up this time, so... This place is creepy. Yeah, let's go up and see what's up here. Okay. So that goes back the way we came. I want to see if, like, I can find anything here. Oh, what? Well, that was kind of bullshit. Ow. I see you. Okay, and I also see you. Got it. Okay. Anything over here? It seems like there is, but I want to check this real quick. Hello. Okay. Vaya con Dios. What's over here? Ah, wrong button. Oh, is this like one of those platforming challenges? Okay, this is gonna be scary. I'm gonna get rid of you. Good. Oh, nuts. Oh, I see. I gotta slide under. Ah, freaking. Okay. Um, that sucked. Yeah, this. This is interesting. Alright, so in order to get back there. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna make my way back there. See if I can... Okay, that's annoying. That's right, I can go back this way. I am not appreciating this... I am not appreciating this, like, very, very gloomy atmosphere. I mean, I know this ga this whole game is gloomy as is, but this is a little excessive. 
Yeah, let's just make a beeline for that area so I can get my soul back. Or guilt fragment, as it were. I'm curious, can you break those bells? Because I'm noticing cracks. There we go. Oh, jeez. That shockwave can... can cause me to lose myself on the ledge. Come on. I'm not even gonna bother with you. Um, no, that's actually where I'm supposed to go. I need to go up. Come on. Good. Okay, so, let's try this again. Freaking platforming bullcrap. Con Dios. I gotta remember I have my prayers, so if I need to... Good. So if I need to, I can utilize those to maybe circumvent certain situations. Okay, let's try this again. soul back. Good. Whew. Okay, 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 okay. Got it, got it, got it. Good, good. We got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, wait for that to come back. And what do we have here? Heart of the Holy Purge. It is a uh, mea culpa heart. Or whatever you... Yeah. Sword core blessed with the fervent prayers can be inserted into mea culpa, increases the tears of atonement reaped, but prevents use of bile flasks. Okay. Good to know. So what is over here? Quicksilver. Keep pressing the wrong button. Quicksilver. A sphere of liquid of, of liquid silver touched by the miracle. Uh, brought to Custodia by alchemists from distant lands. Back when the roads were still open and the wagons left furrows in the mud. In the right hand, its latent powers could be revived, but alas, the art of alchemy was lost many eons ago. Oh, there's lore. It emerges from the pores of the earth, from between the flagstones. It is a silver of the ornaments, desperate to flee, to escape from them and turn from their sanctity. It detaches itself, it slips away, leaving the figures naked of its embrace, leaving the works of art orphans of uh, leaving the works of art orphans of brightness. It leaks through the hides under our feet, only to then sprout again free of impurity. It is your choice, my son, to pick them up or to leave them, but beware of the purpose you put them to. Alright. Is there anything else? It looks like there's something else over here. Oh! Echoes of Salt? Alright. Ah, these guys again. Hmm. 
See, I'm just exploring everywhere now, but I think I gotta do this. L let's let's take things one at a time, shall we? I'm gonna go back to um, I'm gonna go back to um the bell, and see if I can find whatever I need to here first. Otherwise, I'm gonna be here all day. To Hondo, that's what it's called. All right, Hondo. Let's see if we can extract your secrets. One thing that's still bugging me, by the way, is whatever the frick happened with that with that one mini boss I ran into, and now I no, no longer have any offerings. Um, I don't get that. Uh, someone please explain to me what that what that whole spiel is all about. All right, and then I can ah, wrong button. Take this. Head back down here, and then I can skip all this again if I take that elevator. Good. So, let's keep exploring. It looks like I need to go to the, uh, west. Yeah, because I also, like, dropped this thing, so I'm curious to know... Oh my... Thank God I didn't just drop down. That, that would have been a disaster. Ah, I see. Cool, cool. Okay, so yeah, we need to go to the... Uh... So not down here. I need to head back up. I see that chain in the background and it's... Whoa! Do I need to do something else? Whoa! That's a reach you got, man! Alright, I still got time to explore more around here if I can. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave you guys alone. Okay, do I... Yes, I need to go down. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my, uh, parry. Oh, well, great. Mother! Well, that was annoying. Okay, I need to slide under there. Just wait for this to come back. What do we got? A uh, vertebrate of John the Gambler. Known for his gambling skills, many believe that John von uh, uh, Gammerminst? Uh, John von Gammerminst's fate was guided by the high walls. The day his luck ran out, so did his life. All right, looks like we got some more stuff over here. Um, it seems like there's another way down that way, maybe? I'm curious. Oh, boy, that's gonna be annoying. So I need to book it. Aha, I see, I see. Get out of here. Okay, so, what do we got here? We have... Empty Bile Vessel! Yeah, um, another one. Hollow Bile that emanates, uh, from the Morning Fountains. Again, um, I gotta figure out what these do. Wrong button. I keep doing that. Oh, mother! Are you kidding me?! Ah, okay. Well, that sucked. Oh, and I'm all the way back here. Ah, mother Pfeiffer. All right, give me a second here, guys. All right, we're back. Um, and hopefully I don't mess this up this time. There we go. Man, I landed on that platform. You guys saw that bull, right? Come on. All right, so, um, let's try up first. Aha, another one of those statues. 
Can I reach you from here? No, I cannot. Oh, but it stalls me in the air. That is very good to know. Good, good. Um... Hmm. There's gotta be a way. There it is! Yes! Good. And then there's this. Alright. So, theoretically, if I go back to the center, that should unlock something with that bell, right? Ah, frick. Well, let's try this first. Oh, hello. Oh, boy. This is gonna be a thing, isn't it? Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, I get it. Got it. Okay, cool. That's a cool, that's a neat little puzzle. Not of rosary rope. <gasps> does that mean I get more rose? Does that, does that mean I get a, yes! Does it, 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 does it? What, what does not a rosary rope do? Hello? Uh. What does the knot of rosary rope do? Let's actually rearrange this because, like, I'm like, um, let's, uh, try and, uh, you know, calcified eye, immaculate bead, Cloistered Sapphire. Hmm. Let's go with the Calcified Eye. Actually, no, I don't really need the Calcified Eye. So, hmm. Let's go with the Wax Beads, actually. See, uh, see how that fares. Because what does the, uh, what does the Dove Skull do again? Strengthens the Pentinent One's defenses. Yeah, let's go with the, uh, let, let's go with the Wax Beads for now and see where that takes us. In the meantime. Okay, we got a little bit of time left. See if I can get to a certain point here. Ooh, that was close. Good. Aha! Okay, that's gonna be a bit... Got it! Okay, that's uh, another one. This is a big area. I think what I'm probably gonna end up doing is, like, if I don't get far... If I don't get much farther, I'll probably end up, like, praying at a Priya Diu and then going from there. Good. What do we have here? 
Oh, I can't go over there yet because I don't have whatever that whatever is required for that thing. So make a note of this for later. What what I'm actually gonna yeah, I'm gonna put a marker. Not here, here. There we go. So just so maybe I can remember to do that. Yeah, I gotta start use, utilizing the markers. I don't normally do that in Metroidvanias, interestingly enough. Like, I don't actually use those as much as, as often as I should. Okay, and this is gonna allow us to go through here. I wonder if I wonder if now that I've activated this, like, what happens if I talk to that old man across the bridge? Okay, can't grab that yet. Hey, old man. Sois la respuesta a mis plegarias. La orden agradece vuestro auxilio. Poco me aprovecha permanecer aquí. Ir con el padre ahora, penitente. Fourth toe made of limestone. What do we got here? Fourth toe made of limestone. It's a rosary bead. Uh, toe from the statue of the first barefoot pilgrim. The fourth toe bore the memory of his partner so as not to forget better times. Reduces dodging cooldown. Finally, he said, a genuine genuflection pilgrim will always walk alone. It is the solitary path that will grant him constant meditation and understanding of what it means to be a pilgrim in the land of the miracle. For that is our rule. Then he got up and looked at all of us for a long time while, he re while we remained silent. Then he left, and we never saw him again. Alright, so... Um, one last thing I'm gonna do and see if this leads to anything. Now that I've gotten to the point where, um, I took down that one statue, maybe that'll lead to something here. Um, let us see if it does. Vaya con Dios. Okay, let's see if I can get past there. Ah, frick. Messed that up. Cool. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to wait for that. But, um, we're getting towards the end here, guys, so I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go ahead and, um, like, end it off once I make it to a pre -dieu. Um, I'm still curious as to what that is. Again, those vines, I'm sure that means something. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna get an ability later down the line that allows me to use those. As of right now, though, that is not the case. So for now, let's focus on getting to that bell. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of you first. Okay, so, yeah, the bell should be here. That's actually where the Priya Diu is. Um, so I, I do want to check the bell first, and then, depending on what happens, we'll end the episode there. So, yeah, I don't mind praying here for now. Good. All right. Where is that bell? Oh, you know what? The bell is the, the bell is down there, now that I think about it. Um, yeah, I should be able to make it from here, actually. Um, I, I took the long way around, but that's no big deal, honestly. Alright, then. Let us see what this bell is all about. Should be here, right? Yes, it is. Here goes nothing. There it goes! 
Grievance Ascends. Oh, yeah, that... Oh, that's what that, like, hole was. All right. Well, as the... As the uh, great Hondo Bell tolls, that is going to mark the end of this episode, everybody. So, thank you guys for joining us for another episode of Let's Play Blasphemous, or joining me, as it were. This is a solo Let's Play. I gotta remember that. I'm so used to, like, recording with comic foil that it's just, like, become habit at this point. But either way, I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed yourselves. Let me know in the comments what you think. And again, I'm always down for more discussions about religion and, like, you know, Christian or Catholic or Judaeus, uh, Judaism experiences or whatever you, whatever you guys believe in. And yeah, I'm also like down to like hear you guys talk about other faiths as well or other practices. Are you Wiccan? Are you, um, are you Jewish? Are you atheist, agnostic? Um, are you animist? Let me know guys, because I want to hear all of it. Um, because I also believe that, you know, all these religions, they all have similar roots, you know? And at the end of the day, pretty much all of them, pretty much all of them, at least like the ones that I feel are worth talking about, say, hey, as long as you're not hurting anyone and you're not being a dick, like, we're good. That's the main thing. So, on that note, have a good night, everybody. See you next time.